Hey everyone, welcome back. Another exciting week. So we're gonna get the uh, fiberglass part out of the mold, see how that second part turned out. Um, I'll also look at joining those parts to the car itself. If we get uh, that far, we're gonna then start taking apart the car. So we'll take the shell off, doors off, everything so we can kind of start getting the motor out, get batteries out, all that stuff. So I did send out the uh, inverter board. So that's gonna get looked at, see if uh, everything's in working order. And anyway, exciting stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, this is the uh, part from the second mold. Got it cleaned up. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm trying to see if you can see in the, there's the glare. So again, um, pretty dang smooth. There's a couple of like, these aren't like divots or anything, just color mismatch. So again, it's, it's smooth, just I don't know what happened to the color. So that's what it looks like. Um, things I did different. Um, I added some water to the PVA, did a couple extra coats. Um, I think that helped a little bit. I'm still, somebody else mentioned just skip the PVA, just do wax. So that one sounds kind of interesting. So I might try that if I do another one of these. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this one fit on the car, see how it fits up. All right, so on this side, um, when I go to put it in, it matches pretty good except for right up here. And so like if I press it in, it's like perfect to shape, but then like as soon as I let it go, it wants to pop back out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp it and kind of heat it up a little bit, see if I can get it to relax just a little bit so it kind of matches the shape a little bit better. All right, uh, yeah, a little bit of heat and let it cool and that just uh, fits right in. So that's a cool little trick. Um, I tried to keep the temperature under 200 uh, Fahrenheit. I don't know what the right temperature is, but um, so it gets pretty hot to the touch, but uh, yeah, anyways, when, when it cools down, it just kind of takes that shape. So works pretty nice. All right, this is what it looks like on the driver's side with the fender and the light housings. Pretty cool. Okay, for joining this guy, here's my thought. So I figured I'd cut out kind of there. I guess I'll call it that inside there. So meaning like it'll cut out that channel and then I will laminate from the underneath. I'll also cut out on top to laminate from on top. So that is my plan. And so that way, um, when I've got kind of a opening there and there, I can just fiberglass from both sides to kind of just create one. So it'll just be joined from the inside on both sides. I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so um, I marked it up. So this is kind of where I would cut on this side. This side, obviously, I just cut really close to the edge here. And same thing underneath. Um, with that being said, I'm recognizing that I'm not gonna have any access kind of with the wheel and everything here. So the shell's gotta come off uh, to do this. And we're gonna take the shell off anyways to kind of get things out of there. So we're gonna put a pause on this one and go on to something else. All right, so it is time to disassemble. Let's get to it.
Okay, I started stripping it down. Um, I'm gonna need some help to take the uh, shell off. That's a, more than a one-man job. But uh, got the tires off, got the doors off. Um, this is my little rig for dropping the motor. And I had to take the wheels off because I can't take the shell off. They were too tight a fit. So I'm looking to see if I can take out a few battery modules. Anyway, my thought is I'm gonna take all the backpack two battery modules out. Um, that way I can kind of be assured it's not, or it is a isolation problem. Uh, meaning if I've got them all outside the vehicle and I don't have any problems, kind of suggests that's what it is. If I still have problems, it means it's kind of more of a battery uh, module problem or wiring problem. So gonna take some battery modules out, gotta take the shell off. Lots more to do. All right, when I was under the car, I thought I saw a little bit of a, and I've got the rubberized undercoating underneath, but some of it looked wet. And I believe I still have a brake line that's leaking. So um, kind of reached under there and it's just, again, a little bit wet. So I believe I've already tightened it once. I think this just means I need to redo that brake line. So, um, not so fun, but again, I guess as we're kind of getting the whole car apart, we'll just add that to the list. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but at the bottom of this uh, combination valve, there's two that go out for the front brakes, you know, one on each side, and then one that goes to the rear. So one that goes to the rear has this uh, adjustment, so you can kind of adjust the bias front to back. And I believe it's at the bottom of that that's leaking a little bit. But when I say that, so I kind of, cleaned up the wetness and when I, I don't know, my, my thought is I'll you know stomp on the brakes a couple times to make it happen again. And I can't get any additional fluid to come out. So I'll leave it for a little bit, see if I can't get some more fluid to come out. But uh, yeah, not quite sure what to do there. Okay, here it is uh, somewhat stripped. We've got still a ways to go. Um, this is probably more representative of where we are in the build. Um, it looks so nice with the shell on and doing some fiberglass work, but with the car not working, not driving, um, we need to get it off, get into all this. So the we're, we're taking the motor out, um, taking things apart. I already did an episode where we kind of went through this in a lot of detail, so I'm not gonna do it again. I'll just reference the video um, up above there. So what we've got now is we took, 
took the wheels off. I've actually taken uh, one of the battery trays out, one of the battery boxes. So I've got the modules over here and we needed to do that to essentially, this one will come down and it'll give me access to the other battery modules. We'll see where to go. So we're gonna take them all out and we'll get the motor out, put the new inverter board in, controller back, make sure everything works uh, like before with pack one. We're gonna have pack two be just completely outside the car, uh, make sure there's no um, isolation problems and make sure it will work with pack two. And that'll kind of assure us that um, it's not a battery problem. Um, Cause when I say wiring, I think we're assured that the wiring's correct cause it'll run, run with pack one. So for pack two, it's really just, I, like I said, I think it's a isolation problem and this will help us assure that it is or it isn't. And from there, we can kind of redo some of the battery situation to get that solved. But this is what, this is what it looks like here where it's all taken apart. So again, got my uh, jig out here to support the motor. We're, in, we're gonna end up dropping the motor uh, and we'll hoist up, I shouldn't say drop the motor, drop the subframe, hoist the motor up just to get enough clearance to take off the inverter housing, swap the board, um, we'll put it back on. We won't reassemble everything until we do a test to make sure the motor spins, that everything's talking and working. So once that's confirmed, we'll just reassemble everything. Um, and again, if, if we got pack two working, I think we can, you know, we'll clean everything up, make sure everything's exactly how we would like it, and then put the shell on for good. So that's kind of the hope. Um, I'm gonna redo some of the uh, coolant lines. Some of them are a little kinked, but we'll, uh, we'll take a look. Everything is quite dusty from all the fiberglass work. So we'll clean that up too. But there you have it, mostly stripped. All right, so got the motor out, kind of dropped the subframe, hoisted up the motor, got the housing off for the inverter. And again, I don't, I don't really see anything that looks alarming, but all it takes is one little thing. So the, uh, inverter board is on the other side. So we'll go back there and unplug things and get the new one in. Okay, just like that, we got the old board out, the new board in. Um, 
The way that uh, I've been instructed to kind of see if it's a bad board is you've got the uh, two can, you know, the can high and the can low um, contacts here. And they should have like, the camera was like 23 or 26 uh, kilo ohms. And mine were like around 20 ohms. So meaning uh, something in there had fried. So switched out the board, got the cover back on. Um, that's all the time we're gonna have for this week. Um, next week will be uh, Christmas week. So I don't know if the, I've got the, in the uh, controller coming back, but I don't know if it'll come back next week, um, just do the holidays. So um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Um, I will be taking out the other battery modules, um, trying to plan on how to better isolate those. But that's, uh, that's what we've got. There it is, all stripped. Man, that was pulled apart to the bones. Definitely doesn't look like we're gonna be driving anytime soon, but that's just a myth. We'll be driving soon. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.